my name is Matthew Blackburn. Uh, welcome to our Connect it today. I want to start off just thanking everyone worshiping with us. If it was 8.30 on an online service, when it premieres, you can catch it any time. And this week, it was so much fun seeing Pastor Keith with his chickens, his scooter, squawking. Also, those who were able to worship with us and, and brave the cold here in person at 9 o'clock in the gym and 11 o'clock in the sanctuary. And also, just a reminder, we always have a live stream going on 11 o'clock service. So, so many ways to connect with us every Sunday morning. We want to thank y'all for doing that. Always a lot of things that uh, happen in our church every week, but there's a couple of things we want to point out to start off. One is this coming Saturday, 4 to 6 o'clock, uh, there's a special event. This will be uh, watching a movie, Hidden Rivers, and this will be in the gym. This is along with the Creation Care Alliance, and it's not only just seeing this film all together, but also to have a discussion. Um, there's... There will be a link you can see uh, to if you want to join in via Zoom, or you can be in person here in the gym this Saturday. And then the following Saturday, um, we are having the plunge. We're, we're being a part of Hayward Waterways and their big fundraiser they have every year um, to help uh, fund Kids at the Creek. It's an educational program they put on for our community. So we're so excited. We know we've got a lot of youth jumping in. I know Pastor Keith is jumping in. Um, and so this is so exciting. So if you want to support, please, there's a link down below to kind of support our youth and other people who want to jump in. You can support financially. You can show up and wave us on or even jump in with us. Uh, just call if you want some more information. And this morning, Connect, we have um, a special announcement uh, from Becky Brown up in the sanctuary. So I'm going to send it up to Becky. Thank you, Matthew. Um, something very important from our sanctuary and from our worship space down in the gym. We are doing communion very differently this Sunday. Um, so you might recognize um, the stacker that we have here with the cross on top. Um, this is uh, something that's very old fashioned that used to be used all the time for communion. But because we have listened to you and we understand that communion as a sacrament together has been uh, something that has not been as uh, meaningful as we would like for it to be because of COVID restrictions and sanitation. So we're trying something different for this week and we hope that this will be more meaningful to you all. So we have, we brought this out of the depths and cleaned it up and we're ready to utilize it on Sunday morning. And what is inside? are um, little individual cups like we've been using for worship, but they're not prepackaged. Um, they will be filled um, with sanitary guidelines in place um, for each of us to use these juice cups. So we will have um, pastors will be serving you individually when you come forward down the aisle, like we used to do with our intinction. And you'll come forward and you'll receive a wafer out from an acolyte who will be masked and have gloves on. And then you will receive um, a juice from a pastor with gloves on and a mask on. Um, and then you can partake that way as a part of our worship service. We will also have these available. Um, these are the prepackaged form. Um, for anybody who comes who wishes to partake with this format, um, not utilizing an individual handing it to you. It really is based on your comfort, as well as if you're unable to come forward physically, then these will be passed out in the pews or in the chairs um, as, as needed. You can come by and pick them up. We have them ready for you in a basket. If you worship with us exclusively online right now, make sure you get your elements for this week. Um, and I do want to mention that these are all gluten-free. We have many of our folks here in our church who are gluten-free, and so everybody will have a gluten-free wafer. Um, so those are the exciting updates, Matthew, for our communion liturgy. So I'm excited about worshiping on Sunday. So you continue with whatever you got. Thank you so much, Becky. We appreciate that. And I just want to thank y'all, and thank y'all for being in the church, and we love y'all, and uh, hope you guys have a great week. I'm sorry, I forgot something. So this week, important update in worship, we're going to start passing the plates together again. It has been so long since we have touched the plate and passed it along um, and had that experience in worship that's so meaningful, a part of ourselves giving to God as, as an act of worship. So we're going to be starting that again. So get ready. It's going to be a wonderful day of worship together.